today we are making a tiramisu and the kids wanted to help so we have the entire litter of children <laughs> pitching in to make us cake today. So it's Ken and my anniversary today and we decided we wanted to make the cake ourselves and the kids wanted to help. So here we are, we're making tiramisu. It's my all time favorite cake and it's actually really easy to make. For this recipe, you're gonna want to grab six eggs and we're actually only gonna be using the yolks. So you're gonna separate your egg yolks from your egg whites and set your egg whites aside. And we're going to add our egg yolks into a large mixing bowl. Making it go side to side mm -hmm. on a seesaw, side to side on a seesaw week. Okay, how many is this? Three. Three. Whoa, yeah. this one's extra boogery. Ugh. <laughs> boogers. This one has extra boogers. Four. Two, four. Whoa. Uh, that one has more boogers than we thought. <laughs> it has more boogers than you thought. Two. Five. And once you have all six of your egg yolks separated, go ahead and take your egg whites and set them aside. And now we're just going to add three fourths cup of granulated sugar into our egg yolks. Good job. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, so the boiling water, you actually want to keep it off the stove when you're doing this or else you'll end up with scrambled eggs. So the water is boiling, but I took it off the heat. And now I'm just going to combine this until um, it's kind of thickened and lighter in color. So I'm just placing our egg yolks and the sugar mixture over some boiling water and we're using kind of a double boiler method. And we're going to whisk these until they are a little bit paler and a little bit thicker in consistency. So once they look like a pale yellow like that, you are good to go. Yummy, yummy, my belly, yummy, yummy. Do you guys want to eat this? Yeah. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah. All right, and John, thank you guys. You want? You don't want to lick that. It's not cooked. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. It's not cooked though, okay? That's so yummy. Is it? Okay, so that's the consistency that we're basically looking for. So it's lighter in texture. If you're using an electric whisk, whisk like me, it only takes a couple of minutes, but if you're using like a manual whisk, it's gonna take you like uh, probably 10 minutes to get this consistency. Okay. So now you just wanna put this aside and let it cool because it is basically like really warm right now. And uh, we need this to be pretty cool before we combine it with everything else. Not right now, we're gonna put it aside. It's so yummy. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our mascarpone cheese. It tastes like wall paint. <laughs> it tastes like wall paint? <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Try it. Tastes like wall paint. Tastes like wall paint? That's rude. All right, so now we're gonna take our mascarpone cheese yeah. and we're basically gonna um, add it into a new bowl. It basically has a consistency of like really thick cream cheese, so we need to soften this so that it combines with everything I'm easily. <laughs> You guys are killing it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Did great. I think it tastes good. Jeffy. So I'm just quickly softening this up so that it Duck. combines with everything Duck. nice and easy. Duck. Once the mascarpone cheese has softened like this, you're gonna grab your egg and sugar mixture and pour it into the cheese. And you're basically going to combine it until it's completely mixed. You guys are such good helpers. Well, are we making ice cream? Hmm? Are we making ice cream? Does it look cream? like ice cream? Yeah. It does look like ice cream, doesn't it? I can it? lick it. <laughs> you guys don't have to taste it every step of the way. Okay, okay. I actually decided to go ahead and whisk it together just to make sure there was no lumps and that it was combined perfectly and it was just silky smooth. All right, so we're halfway through now and this is what it looks like and we're just gonna set this aside and we're gonna start on our whipped cream and our lady fingers. Beep. Who's ready to make whipped cream? Me. Do you guys know how to make whipped cream? No. It's very easy. No. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our whipped cream and our vanilla. And we're gonna start on our whipped cream. Yeah, I know in like traditional um, tiramisu, they actually use uh, the egg whites instead of whipping cream. Uh, but I personally like the whipping cream better because it just tastes so much like richer and creamier and yummier. Pour this into the bowl for me, guys. In a new bowl, we're gonna pour two cups of heavy cream with one tablespoon of vanilla essence. So this is gonna take a while. Now we have to whip. And now we're simply gonna whisk the cream until it turns into soft peaks. You don't wanna overbeat this. 
Alright, looks like it's done. Thank you. Whipped cream? Yeah. Did you know this is how you make whipped cream? Can we taste it? Mm. Mom. Is it yummy? Mom, you try. It's so yummy. Is it good? You want to hold it in your hand? Hold it in your hand. Yummy? So now we're basically going to combine our egg yolk mixture with our whipped cream and we're going to fold it in because we don't want our whipped cream to deflate and we also don't want all the air that we whipped into the egg yolks to deflate either so we're just going to fold it in nice and slow. Oh, you can't have all that. Excuse me, that's for the recipe. Shakey shake, okay? Shake, 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 shake. You can't take any more. Just lick on what's left. Yeah, look. So now we're finally going to combine both bowls together completely. No stinking, no whole build. Okay, so now I'm just going to basically carefully fold this in without mm. um, deflating any of the cream. Yeah. Over Zariah's head, mom life. So a trick I learned uh, if you don't want to lose any of the air that you whipped into your whipped cream is to go all the way around and then cut through the center. And that's how you basically fold it until it's completely combined. Look at that consistency. So now we're basically going to put this aside in the refrigerator so and let good. it cool and we're going to start so assembling. Yeah! Okay. Alright, all right. Uh, guys, we're not going to have any left. So I like using like a lasagna pan for this because when you cut into this, it actually gives it like the perfect square slices. Uh, but if you want to put in one of your like fancy custard trays, you can. It does make a better presentation. But the reason I like using this traditionally because the slices turn out perfect in this. All right, guys, ready? Zariah? I think you just need to like be excused. Look at yourself, make it a mess. Did you make a mess? Say yes. Eat the lady fingers. Okay, so we need about 40 lady fingers for this. I hope we have 40 left by the time the kids are done. And then you're basically gonna take a cup and a half of coffee and if you want to add rum, at this point you would add rum. I don't um, cook with alcohol or drink alcohol, so I'm gonna skip that part, but if you guys want to add rum, this is where you would add your alcohol into the coffee mixture. And now we're gonna grab a cup and a half of really strong coffee. Again, if you are adding any liquor, now's your chance to add it into this mixture. And we're gonna really quickly dip our lady fingers in. You don't wanna soak them uh, because they will literally crumble. And then we're just gonna stack them into our pan as tightly as you can. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are gonna leave me enough lady fingers for this. No, I lot and lot of lady But it's for the cake, it's not for you. We got 80. So you just wanna dip these for like literally a couple of seconds. If you dip it too long, it's gonna get soggy and start breaking apart on you. Um, and it'll be really hard to handle. So literally just dip for like a quick second, shake it off, and you want to pack it quite tightly. Zayden, <laughs> breathe, man. So once we have one full layer nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and add half of our creamy mixture on top of the lady fingers. So just kind of eyeball half of it and spread it out as evenly as you can, nice and smooth and flat. More. How's it taste? More. Good? Uh-uh. All right, if you guys can take a break, you can help me arrange the next pile. To dip fast though, okay? Dip fast and shakey, 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 shake. Yeah, shakey, 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 shake, 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 and then put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 nice and tight, nice and tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a bad day. Shakey, 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 shakey. It's a really hot day and a really hot day and a really cold day. So we're basically just creating our second layer of lady fingers on top of our custard mixture. And again, just get them in nice and tight. And we're gonna put the remaining mixture, which is the second half, uh, on top of these lady fingers. And you're just gonna spread it out as evenly as you can, all the way to the edges, nice and flat, thick, nice, creamy layer. Mm. Um, so now we're basically going to let it refrigerate for about six hours. So hopefully by tonight when we're having our picnic, it'll be ready to go. Who wants to lick out the bowl? Me. You? You can get the bowl. Um, and can I have a lick of your spatula? Uh-uh. Mm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. This is my favorite dessert. I'm just cleaning out the sides. I'm eating it. 
It's so good, Daddy. And we're just gonna quickly cover it with saran wrap and it's gonna go into the refrigerator for six hours minimum or overnight. <gasps> Give it back, ah, give it back. <laughs> All right. Oh, daddy's gonna have so much fun cleaning this up. All right guys, so it's been about six hours now and we're getting ready to have our anniversary party. So I just took it out of the fridge. And if you want to leave it in the fridge overnight, it's best. It usually actually tastes best if you leave it in the fridge for two days before you cut into it. So right before I serve it, I like to go in with some cocoa powder and just dust it all over the top. Right before you serve it, you wanna take some unsweetened cocoa powder and you just wanna sift it on top and you wanna make sure that you get pretty much full coverage. So don't be stingy and don't leave any white spaces. Just get a nice thick layer. And like go all the way to the edge and even if it gets like on the dish, it doesn't matter. It makes the dish look nicer, so whatever. <laughs> so I usually go in with unsweetened cocoa powder because this has more than, this has more than enough sugar. Ta-da! It looks so good! Oh my god, okay, we have to cut into this right now. <laughs> And you can pretty much slice into this right away now. And in between slices, you wanna go ahead and wipe your knife just so that each layer is nice and clean and you can see all of the different layers of lady fingers and your custard. And then I like to take a spatula to scoop it out nice and clean. All right, before we start this party, I'm gonna have a little bit of a little taste test. Mm. Mm. You wanna try one? Mm. Yummy? Dance? <laughs> Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye! bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Kissy mama? Alright, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what recipes you guys want to see next. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!